Aquarius, hello, welcome to Chi Q Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading for the month of March 2020. I hope you all have been well. I want to give a quick shout out to my new and my returning subscribers. I, I'm so grateful for you and I just want to express my gratitude that you guys click that subscribe button and um, you tune in. You tune in to Chi Q Spiritual Guide. Um, it's really an honor, okay? And also shout out to those who view my videos but don't subscribe. I have love for you too. It's all good. I have love for you too. <laughs> it's all good. Like, I welcome you all. All right. So, please keep in mind this reading could be for a cross watcher. The rolls can flip. Uh, but take it how it resonates. And please do not try to make the story fit. If it doesn't fit, check your other signs. If you don't know what your other signs are, just Google natal chart. And all you need is your birthday and the city you were born, the time you were born, as accurate as you can get. Um, but if you don't know, I think you can still get your natal chart. It's fine. All right, Aquarius. Spirit, what message do you have for Aquarius in love for the month of March? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, clarity, freedom, and peace of mind. All right. All right, Aquarius, last shuffle. Nice. Very nice. At the bottom of the deck, ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Someone could be single, uh, could be dealing with an, uh, an earth sign, Virgo, um, I think this is also Libra, I don't know why I always forget. Alright, well let's just see. Some with single, luxury, this person has their together, okay? Why Aquarius, oh, Spirit, what message do you have for my Aquariuses in love for the month of March? The Four of Swords, someone could be thinking, meditating taking a break, retreating, healing, two of wands, making a decision, could be thinking Aquarius, could be in your head, all right, resting, thinking, I feel like you're thinking, I'm getting thinking, I don't know, all right, why does Aquarius have this four of swords? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, we have a Queen of Cups. That is water energy. You got the Cancer or some kind of nurturing, loving, gentle person in your life. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who's trying to release negativity. Um, if they're not, if they're trying to release negativity yeah like they're trying to come out of something like recover revive or i don't know yeah i think it's like they're, they're trying to revive something why the four of pentacles in reverse this water sign you're dealing with why is the four of pentacles reverse okay queen of swords with the stars we have another court card this is uh Virgo, Libra, I mean, it could be any sign, any air sign. Oh, I'm sorry, this could be your sign. Duh, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, or Virgo. Somebody's, somebody is, uh, hoping, wishing, and praying for something. Somebody, does somebody want you back? Why is the stars here? Ten of Wands. It's too exhausting, though. They're hopeful. There's hope here, this person. But it's a burden. Why the Ten of Wands? The Hanged Man. Okay, where are we going with this <laughs> spirit? Where are we going with this? The new... 
Like a new perspective. Maybe they've gained a new perspective. Why the hangman? I mean, this could be two different people. I mean, this could be you. Like the person you're dealing with is trying to, you know, maybe revive things. You could be hopeful, but it's like a burden though. And maybe you're trying to just look at it differently. Like you're considering it. Why is a hangman here? Why is a hangman here? Like you're not sure. Okay. Knight of Cups with the lovers. Making an offer. Being romantic. The lovers. Um, Gemini energy. Water energy. You very much so could be dealing with the water sign. Um, this person could be trying to offer you love. Like they what if you guys went through something and we'll see what happened in the past. They're trying to release that like everything you've been through because they're feeling very hopeful. Everything you've been through. They're trying to let that go. You know what I'm saying? That's what I get. Why the lovers? The sun. Oh, man, this person is. Hot, very optimistic they they're feeling good about this what is the energy behind the four of swords Woo! the five of pentacles Ooh, being left out in the cold did you leave somebody out in the cold this queen of cups person Why the Five of Pentacles? The Five of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Okay, well. So, uh, I just feel like somebody was left out in the cold and they feel like they're at a loss. You know what I'm saying? Or, or feel like something was unfair because they lost something why is the five of swords reverse seven of wands with the emperor so someone's defensive aries energy with that emperor someone's defensive someone's i feel like somebody's a little they might be a little upset though and you could just be wanting to release these burdens with the star next to the ten of wands with the hangman I, you might just want to like release this but this other person you're dealing with they want to revive it and you know what I mean just stop whatever difficulty you were going through they want that to end and they're feeling very optimistic about it like they could get you back like we can do this okay I don't know how you feel let's see how does Um, well, let's see what happened in the past. I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. We want to see what happened in the past here. Because you don't seem, I don't know, you seem, you don't seem as optimistic as they do. All right, Aquarius. What happened in the past, spirit, with between Aquarius and their love interest? Oh, the hanging man. Okay, the Ace of Cups at the bottom with the stars. Ooh, the Chariot. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Let us see. Wow, that was actually kind of beautiful. Bottom of the deck. So um, we have the Hanging Man here. So somebody was in suspense. Maybe wanting to improve something. Why is a Hanging Man here? Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign, the Chariot. Someone was in suspense because this Queen of Pentacles person left. They moved on with their life. They moved forward. Why is the Chariot here? King of Pentacles. Ooh. The Hanging Man, though. 
Did someone surrender? Did you surrender to this person and you move forward? Why is the King of Pentacles here? There's a Four of Swords again. I mean, you could be the King of Pentacles. Or the Queen. I mean, I know you're an Aquarius, but maybe this is in your chart or you're just taking on the energy. These two people are all about their money. They're all about their business, taking care of theirs. Like you could have moved on from a King of Pentacles person. Um, and went into like you retreated, like you went into like, leave me alone mode. What is the energy of the hanging man? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Page of Cups. Ooh, with the with the two of pentacles. So someone uh, I mean, I kinda get someone was just not like there was delays, there was no real movement. Maybe because you're in your head about expressing your emotions your feelings like you're going like back and forth juggling by the two of pentacles okay that wants to fall out um why why is the two of pentacles here excuse me why is the two of pentacles here oh man seven of swords Like wanting to escape. I feel like you've always wanted to get out of this. You've always, you've probably never, like, I mean, early on decided or realized I, you didn't want to deal with this person. Like, you feel burdened. And it's like, I want to release this burden. Hoping I could, you know, get out of this. Even here, it's like juggling. Like, I want to escape this situation. I mean, I feel like you're moving on from this King of Pentacles energy type person, or it could be uh, Aries uh, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, I have two Earth signs here. But I feel like someone's moved on in the past. Like they were, what is the energy of the chariot? How about that? How about that? Ten of Cups, yeah. Ten of Cups reverse. So there was a breakup. Like the relationship, like, was just a waste. Arguments. Why the Four of Swords? This doesn't seem like a very good relationship, even in the past. And I feel like you're still in that energy. Like, you just don't. No, you broke up. You broke up because the first spread, that person wanted to revive it. Like, they wanted to come back. And I don't think you want to. Not with the Five of Pentacles, you don't. You just, I feel like you're. Man, you're just going through a, a little bit of a rough time right now. I'm sorry, we're in the past. I'm, I keep forgetting. This is the past. So you went through a rough time with this situation. Hard times, difficult situation. But you broke up. Why the Five of Pentacles? Five of Swords, yeah, mm-mm. Empty victories, feeling left out, feeling alone. You're like, I'm good. So, okay, so that's what happened in the past. Um, Let's just get... Um, do we want to know how your person feels? Maybe. Even though you're probably not trying to deal with them. Let's just see. How do they feel? How do they want to resolve this situation? But they want to revive it. No. Let's get the potential alpha. Let's get a potential alpha. What's going to happen here between Aquarius and their love interest? What is the potential outcome here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like when I got the overall under underlying energy, the Nine of Pentacles came out upright. 
But now she is reversed because the, the outcome is just a lack of, um, a lack of like independence. You know what I'm saying? Like stability, security, um, all that good stuff. Five of Wands at the bottom. Uh oh. You know, there could be all kind of stuff here, man. Um, like you just don't like the situation. So why is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, Nine of Swords reverse and the Fool card reverse. So the Nine of Swords in the reverse is um, like someone healing. Okay, because first you were worried, now you're healing. All right, you might receive some something more positive, some type of good news. Um, but the Fool in reverse is a person who made... Who could possibly made uh, a bad choice? Or they're hesitant or they're indecisive. Let's see, why is the full card reversed? Why is the full card reversed? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the death card, Scorpio energy. Queen of Swords, reverse though. Um, this is like someone. Maybe you feel like I feel like you, you made a you. I'm sorry. I feel like you feel like you made a bad choice. And so here it's like maybe you don't. You I don't know. You're trying to forgive. No, I kind of get like you're hesitant to forgive. Because the Queen of Swords reverse is unforgiveness. Like you want to put an end to that. Like you're hesitant though. Like you're still bitter. Like I don't, you know, that's what I'm getting. What is the energy behind the Knight of Pentacles reverse? What is the energy behind the Knight of Pen the Nine of Pentacles reverse? The Tower. So there's something life changing. It, it happened all of a sudden. It, it shook you up. It shook you up real good. But I think it left you with this lack of stability, lack of security. Um, like you know, this could be money involved. You're, you know, if you guys live together, your home is involved, maybe you had to move out and, you know, it just kind of threw a wrench in your finances. But you're, you're, you're trying to come out of that. Okay. You're trying to come out of this with the nine. Let's see. What is the energy of the nine of swords reverse? What is the energy of the nine of swords reverse? What is the energy of the Nine of Swords reversed? The Temperance. Yeah. Healing. Balancing. Okay. You're trying to do this. Well, you will try. If you're not doing it already, Aquarius, you will. But and I think you're just... Once you heal, I always say healing. Heal first. Forgiveness will follow. Don't try to forgive first and then heal. Right? Don't... No. <laughs> Um, yes, heal the heart and forgiveness. Like you'll automatically, without hesitation, just kind of forgive that person. You're not going to be tripping off of them anymore. But here, I think you're like, you're hesitant to, you know, release some of your bitterness, some of your frustration toward this person. Um, whatever negative feeling you, you have toward them, I, you're just not ready to let it go. It's like, I want to be pissed off right now. I want to be mad. I want to be hurt. Let me be in my feelings. And I'm just not ready to, you know, send that much positive and loving energy to this person. That's what I'm getting for you. But you're trying to, like, feel better, okay? You're trying to heal, even though you're not ready to let go. But when you're ready to let go, you're not going to be thinking about that person like that. All right, let's get your advice. But this is what's 
this is what's happening. There's some healing taking place. But you're not going to be quite ready to forgive. It's okay. Take your time. Forgiveness is a journey, okay? It's not something we can always do overnight. It's a, it's a journey. So take your time, okay? Don't force it. All right, Aquarius. Spirit, what advice do you have for... Aquarius, I cannot shuffle these cards. <laughs> Sorry, let me try one more time. There it is. All right, I think because they're kind of old, so they stick. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this love situation? Okay. The Seven of Swords? What the? Okay. Seven of Swords. Ah. Um, let's see. Let me just clarify because I'm not really sure why this came out for your advice. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aquarius' advice? Queen of Pentacles again. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You really could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be being advised to abandon this ship. <laughs> to let this go. This person. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? They could be an Earth sign or it could just be like a business person, male or female. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Wow. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All right. Ooh, yes. If you're committed to this person, um, Aquarius, ooh, I have two cards saying it's time to go. Get out of there. Take your swords. Yeah. And you don't have to take everything. You know what I'm saying? Take what you can and leave the rest. Even if you're at a loss, so what? You'll benefit from this later on. Eight of Cups. And you know this because you don't want to be bothered with this person. Yeah, if you're in a commitment, that commitment needs to be out. Why the, why the Hierophant? This person is trying to revive this with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, Four of Pentacles with the Star. Somebody, you could be holding on. This is a Taurus energy. I mean, you could be taking on that. I don't know. I just feel like this person, Spirit is saying it's, it's time to be out. Why? Why the stars? Yep. Okay, the Ten of Swords wants to come out. Wanted to come out. The Fool card. Holding on to your faith, your hope, your dreams, your wishes. Taking a leap of faith into something new. What is the energy behind the Seven of Swords? Ooh, yes. The Hangman with the Lovers. Gemini energy. But I feel like this is just saying, um, look at love differently. Look at relationships differently. Maybe this particular relationship. Look at it differently. Um, and let it go. It's time to get out of there. Because I don't think it's going to give you what you want. But hold on to your faith, though. Okay? Hold on to your faith. Not everybody's like this person. But it's time to start a new path in your life with the Fool card. Okay, Aquarius. That is all I have for you. I hope this helps give you clarity, understanding of your situation. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.